Dial. Yeah, it's a crocodile. The, the, so this is gonna. This is a. So oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the crocodile analysis. I mean, the reason why is because this name is just hilarious. I mean, you like in order to spell in, instead of spelling crocodile, you just go crocodile and you give it a dark type because it has like glasses and it's supposed to be menacing, and it's like gonna rob a bank or something like that. Even though alligators don't really like live on land, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever. Anyways, so crocodile is actually really weird. I'd say it's not. It if you look, it's prop. Yeah, this is a really big weakness pool. X scissor hurts. Charmers hurt. You get punched in the face. It hurts. High shadow razor leafers or just vine whips in general. And big snow pig says hi. So does Lapras and Swampert's wreck your world. Because Krugadile is really interesting because even though it does have a decent amount of resistances against somewhat relevant mons, its stat pool, its stats combined with the fact that it's with its weaknesses, it just has so many like relevant weaknesses. It's not great. No, seriously, it's not that great. So Krugadile is has high attack, high stamina. Because of that, it can probably be a little bulky depending on what league you're in. Best use in ultra league however it's very limited like i said just because of like how weak it's just too vulnerable to the meta that doesn't mean it can't be good it can be good but it just really depends and we'll take a look at it for this analysis what makes it really good it has a great move set or make like not great move set but potential snarl generates energy quickly you have earthquake you have outrage and crunch so it's somewhat versatile you probably will never use mud slap in your life so mud slap doesn't do much at all Good, good move pool. Decent stats. It's the weaknesses that really suck the most. It's also hard to get because you can only get it during the 12, that 12k event. And it takes 75k dust to power up. Along with that to get to... It's maxed around level 29, 28. So it's going to be a little expensive to power up. And like I said, it's expensive. Somewhat weird move. Like it's kind of a glass cannon, but it's kind of not because it has high stamina. But at the same time, it also has a ton of weaknesses. So we're just going to see Krugadal, even though, like, in a, as a first impression for me, Ground and Dark is just a horrible typing mix. And looking at its weaknesses, it's just really, it's going to be rough to see, like, how it's going to fare against the meta. It does, however, have a really sweet shiny. If you look at it, it's got golden glasses. This dude is pimped out. This dude's got a tan. He's solid gold. Like, yo, like, this, like, yo, like, this is, like, a really cool shiny. I actually really want it. If Krugadal shiny, if Sandal shiny comes out, I want Krugadal because it's really cool. It looks really cool. But for Go Battle League, let's take a look at how. Let's. It, I want to say it's good, but let's just see how good it really. Is. All right, so Krugadal is best used in Ultra League. I wouldn't use it in Masters, but we'll take a look at it anyway. So Krugadal is ranked at 131. Great as a closer, just because of its move set. Like Crunch and Earthquake is really strong to take out really one of the relevant meta stuff like Giratinas and Cresselias, and Melmetals as well as uh, Amok and Excavalier. But you lose against like Swampert, Swampert, Obstagoon, Charizard, Mizar, Gyarados. So you still lose. There's a lot of it's really back and forth as far as like what it beats and what doesn't beat. And we're gonna just see how like it it doesn't rank very high. And it's a horrible switch. So in in it's best used as a closer, but I can see Krugadal losing a lot of scenarios in the shield just because of its just because of its typing, I guess. So that's Ultra League. In the lead, it's ranked at 134. Best used in the closer. So as a closer, it actually breaks the top 100, which isn't super bad. But as a closer, losing against Swamper and Excavalier can be costly. You also lose against Ready Steel because Focus Blast ends your life. But you have a lot of positive matchups. So it's actually, it can be really good. As a switch, it ranks at 215. I would not use it as a switch. 
Yes, you beat Gira A, yes, you beat Cresselia, and you beat Melmetal. However, if you get locked into a Swapper, look at these ratings. They're so high. Swapper, Articuna, Polyrath, Tokus, there, and Venusaur all have a 700, near 700 or plus rating, which means they're really strong. If these switch into you, you're dead. <laughs> you're going to die. That's for regular ultimate. How about Premier Cup? So for Premier Cup, it ranks at 182. It gets even worse. You win against Aphros, Excavalier, Galate, Muck, Gengar. Best used as a closer again. Looks like Krugadal does end up being the be a great closer in for it. So for Krugadal, the closer is its best position. And you still a bad switch, not a great lead. And it even though you do have some key wins, you also have a lot of relevant key losses. What makes it really bad is that they're not even close. They're really convincing. So anything with a 600 rating means you are going to lose that matchup. And there's little things you can do to flip that play around. Or, we'll, or to like, like for example, you like Krugadal die and then you farm. 600 is a lot of help. If you look at Venusaur matchup alone, yes, Venusaur beats you. And it still has 51 HP. And it has residual energy left over to take you out. So it's it that's not good at all. So that's it. And so how about Great League? In Great League, it might in so how about Great League? So in Master, so actually in Master League it might be good. So in Master League, we look at this rating and it actually ranks at number 56. Best use in the closer. You beat Dialga, you beat Giratina O, you beat Melmetal, Gira A and Mewtwo. Now here's the problem. This is the only ground type that I know that actually loses super hard against Crowdon. Because if you look at that, a 735 rating is really bad. <laughs> Kyogre wrecks your life. Togekiss absolutely ends your life. And you lose against Darkrai? Oh, I'm guessing it's because of the Focus Blast. So that's just really interesting. Best use in the closer. It looks like in if the closer is its best position again. Now how about Premier? In Premier, Crocodile, Crocodile only goes at it's best used in the closer. That's all you need to know. Best used in the closer. Would you use it? Wins against Metagross, Magazine. So basically anything ground or anything that ground strong against. Loses hard against Dragonite. Has a decent matchup versus... Well, actually not a decent matchup. 502. You still lose against Snorlax, but that's pretty close. So I'm not, I won't... I, yeah, that's a pretty close matchup. Gyarados, Garchomp, Swampert. Beat you. These are very popular compared to these four. You don't see a lot of Rhyperior. Well, you can still see Rhyperior's, Exodus, and Gengar's, but like against Krugadal, I think you would have to land the Earthquake to win. If they're up shields, I think you lose. Yes, that's correct. As long as they have shield advantage, you do. Well, hold on. Krugadal. Yeah, if they have shield advantage, well, that's a what, zero to ones. We'll take a look at the matchup, but we'll see. Like, it looks like it's best used in Master League, but I don't see it being very powerful. Like. It, it's rated strongly in Master League, but it's not very powerful, and these ratings are just way too strong. How about Great League, out of curiosity? So, Great League, Crocodile. Crocodile is 269. Very nice. Very nice for the last two digits, but other than that, don't use it for Great League. Just don't. I mean, if you look at it, it does be Defus, Bastion. It, it, oh, man, that's a hor Oh, man, that's horrible. 269 is like even though two, it's funny but it's not funny at the same time because these are really hard loss well that's a really bad rating it can be good by the beer fact that you beat stunfisk or you beat stunfisk you beat bastion you also beat hypno however that a ground type that loses against skarmory well defus beats skarmory but still you know what i mean yeah like it's yeah don't use it for great just ultra league like i would use it for ultra league don't use it for masters you can use it for ma- yeah, don't use it for masters. So it looks like in Crocodile's best position overall is with this is in the closer. In the leader switch, it's not great, but in a it, it can be a decent it it's it's an okay closer. So since Crocodile has such a bad rating, I'm gonna go through it kind of quickly. It's not extremely powerful. Best used in a closing scenario, but let's just see exactly like how bent it is. I think because it's so weak against such a variety of Pokemon, I think that's why it's so bad. But let's take a look at the shield scenario. So we have the two shield in Ultra League. You beat, it looks like you lose to every, well, you lose to a lot of things. You beat Cresselia, Driftlim, Galade, Giratina O, but you lose against A. You beat Melmetal, Mewtwo, Muck, and Caesar, but you lose against, so you have only one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. You have only eight positive matchups in the two shields. This is for this is for Ultra League. So you beat eight. So it's best used in the closer, but in the I can easily see why you have such weak matchups against what you're weak against. Shadow Machamp, Machamp actually ends your life really hard. If you look with Machamp, Machamp, Machamp can actually like, wow, that's a lot of yeah, yeah. Machamp, you only win up two shields. So let's see with Mach. It looks like it has some potential. As long as you keep it away from its negative matchup, but there's too many to like count. There's a lot to count. Now, Krugadile is best used in a closer, so let's take a look at the closing scenario. In the closing scenario, you have one, you be Cresselia, you be Driplin, Dri that's three, four, five. You'll be Vert version to Gira, six, seven, eight. So in the closer, it does have some positive matchups. Swampert, Togekiss, Venusaur, Lapras. Machamp, so you want to keep it away from Charmers. You also want to keep it away from Fighters. I think you can, and yeah, even pseudo fires like Obstagoon. Now, up a shield, this is where you might have a chance. Up a shield, you take out a lot of the meta, except you lose against Abomasnow, Articuno, Clefable, Ferrothorn. Lapras, I'm guessing Ferrothorn just because you, just because it's able to outpace you a lot with Power Whip. And you lose against Swamp Prince and Togekiss still, but you beat a lot of things with shield advantage. And up two shields, you actually beat everything but Charmers. Yeah, but Charmers, yeah. So up two shields, you'll beat every you beat everything but Charmers. And in the two to two to ones, and the two to ones, it's basically it's basically like the two shield scenario. You'll lose. Well, it's basically being up a shield. Yeah, it's basically like being up a shield. You lose against you'll lose against fighters and obstacle users, and you have some negative matchups like you'll lose against you'll lose again against Charmers. You drop the matchup versus Toxic Oak and Polyrath. In other words, Crocodile is not great at all for Ultra League. It's okay, but it needs shield advantage, and you need to get it. It has some. Po it has some very positive matchups, but overall, it's not great. It's just its typing. So in summary, Crocodile. This is probably one of the worst analyses. Or like I've tried to like hype it up, but like the that reality is what it is. Crocodile is really bad just because it has so many negative matchups in the meta. Because Snarl isn't exactly a great move. It just doesn't have a it, Snarl isn't a great like charging move and Crocodile, the reason why it's so bad too is cuz Crocodile its moves are kind of expensive. Crunch does take a decent amount of for example, as far as its move pool, Crunch takes a doesn't take it takes four takes four foul plays to get to, but Snarls that's twelve turns. So Snarls a three turn move. It would take four Snarls for you to get to a Crunch, which means you don't have a lot of bait potential. Along with that, coupled with Crocodile's weaknesses, it's pretty weak. If I had to give it a rating, I would give it a six out of ten. I'll give it a six out of ten because. As long as it has a shield, it can do decently well against a lot of the meta, but that's in the one of the zeros. So you have to take both of your opponent's shields, and it has to be up a shield advantage to do well. Other than that, it's not very powerful, and it has very tricky to play. Like I said, the reason being is because one, it's typing, and two, it's because it's moveset. It doesn't really have a good bait move. It Snarl, it would take you 12 turns to finally either bait your opponent or fire off a charge move because Snarl, Snarling, because Crunch is just, because Crunch takes 45 energy. And Snarl isn't very, like, the fastest move in the world. It, if it had, I, I think what could make it better, if it had something like Weather Ball or something that could be like Weather Ball, it could be better because you're able to bait. But without a really good baity move or without the ability to put shield, like, to put pressure, and just a hard, it's, Crookedile is really bad. I give it a better matchup than, like, say, like, the worst rating I've given is probably Bisharp, which is, like, a 5. I'll give it up 1 just because it, just because, like I said, just because shield, shield, shield advantage. Other than that, not really super playable. Super expensive and really a lot of resources you have to get to. It. it costs 125 candy plus what you have to do to power it up. That's not even including a second move. So, somewhat expensive, costly, and not really gives you a good reward for what you use. If I were you, if you were to play it, I would just use a really strong switch and closer. I would use it as a closer, but I would 
give it something i would give it a decent switch with it and like a good lead depending on like what you for like example like ultra league i would definitely put articuno in front articuno giratina and crocodile might work because crocodile might be able to take on a lot of the closers except for like reggie steel and but you would have to put some decently powerful mons in order to cover its weaknesses and that's crocodile Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed analysis. I'd really tried to like find a really positive light into Crocodile, but the only good thing it is is as long as it is if it's up shield advantage, that's where it shines. But even then, it's not overly oppressive to where like it very it can win you the match. There's just too many things that check it that check its weak. It's that it's just weak too. So you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.